Hey, what is up folks, and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be reviving a PC that was released in 2005, almost 14 years ago. The specs listed here show an Athlon 64 dual core processor, 3GB of DDR2 memory, and a 500GB mechanical drive. We are going to be taking this thing apart and using some of the hardware shown to see if we can breathe some life back into this early 2000s machine. I also saw this project as a perfect opportunity to see if we can finally put this GT710 to use because I honestly have no other use for it, so let's see what it can do. Now that we have everything we will need, let's crack this computer open and get started. First things first, we have to take off the side panel to access the inside. Once inside, the next step is to remove the CPU cooler. Thermal paste was so old that when I took off the cooler, the CPU came with it. Next, remove the memory and the PCIe network card, followed by the front case panel. Next, I tried removing the CPU from the cooler only to end up cutting my finger on the heatsink. Ouch. Now that we have removed everything, I think now is a good time to give this PC a 14 year overdue dusting. Definitely good to make sure you remove anything that could possibly hinder good ventilation. Here's a good look at the clean product. Now time to wipe the thermal paste off the CPU. Finally time to reinsert the CPU, add the new thermal paste and reattach the heatsink and cooler back onto the motherboard and plug in the cooler fan. Now we reinsert the memory. And insert the GT710. Now one of the last things we need to do is insert the new SSD. Now that everything has been replaced, cleaned, and fixed up, we are almost ready to boot into a new fresh copy of Windows and see if we can really make a PC that was in its prime time in 2005 really adapt to the processing needs of 2018 and maybe even try a few light games. Time to pack things up and move into the office. The first boot up was successful, meaning the most stressful moment of this whole project was over. Knowing the whole thing still worked was a relief. I decided to install Windows 10 on this system because, well, that's all I had laying around and it's not like Windows XP Vista 7 can be found at your local grocery store, so I had to make do, but luckily things booted pretty snappy because of that SSD. To test things out on the performance side, I installed Minecraft first, accompanied by the Optify mod to help the rendering intensity, and I was pleasantly surprised to see that the game chug along on medium settings and smooth lighting off with a playable range of around 50 to 130 frames per second, but rarely did the game ever drop below 30 FPS. Seemed more than playable to me for a PC with only 3GB of memory, at DDR2 speeds. The next game I tested was the side-scrolling 2D game known as Shellshock Live, a trajectory and strategy based tank battle with an assortment of flashy 2D explosions and effects. The game set at around 35 to 40 FPS, which personally is more than enough for a side-scroller. So in conclusion, I think we can safely say that we got this old PC back into a functional state. The only reason this project actually happened was so that my siblings could have something to play Roblox on, and since I've never really played Roblox before, I'm sure this will do the job, but who really knows? As far as I see that they've been enjoying it, though I don't actually have footage of them enjoying it because this project was rushed. But anyway guys, I think that's it for today. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, do all those wonderful things. Should have some new, cooler content coming way soon. And I'll see you guys later in the next one.